All right, we are back with Solar Jet Man Hunt for the Golden Warship. I've already entered in the password. Um, we are on Planet 11. Gravity's heavy. Go ahead and start the timer and jump into it. So, oh, I didn't quit my war. My what? Do you lose all your items when you enter in a password? That's kind of bogus. Are you kidding me? That's terrible. I should have left this on all night. Oh, what a bummer. And there's no shop here either, so I can't buy anything. Man, that sucks. I kind of noticed that previously. That my money was gone and I didn't have the items. I didn't realize it was that bad, though. My goodness. That really stinks. I think there's at least one more shop. But man, that's rough. That is definitely a, a negative. Oops. And the worst part is, like I said, it could have just been uh, dealt with if they... Or, if I, or, like, I could have just left it on all night, rather. Ooh, man, stuff is heavy on this planet. Well, I guess I don't have to worry quite as much about losing a pod, though. It's a bummer. I guess with how many you could buy of everything, there wasn't an easy way to make the passwords tell you how much you had of everything. Now I do kind of want money. Tribbles. Tribbles? As in, like, from Star Trek? <laughs> it looked like it. That's funny. Random Star Trek reference. Was there anything else up here? I don't think so. Well, maybe, actually. This planet is heavy. even a dude here. I lost a little too much shields there. I definitely could have... Oh, there's just one thing. Okay. It is a single gem. Don't know this late in the game how much I want money. I guess I do want stuff for another shop, but... The problem is if I keep dying, I'm going to spend money every single time. I die, essentially. That's so dumb. That is definitely not <laughs> a very great password system. Because basically, on the next level, I have a shop for it. But every time you buy items, you spend the money before you see the save points. Well, I guess just the first time. Hold on. There might be a way. To, it's a risky, uh, not risky, but I think what I can do is not buy anything in the shop, then reset the game and enter the password. Then I get access to the shop again with full money every time I reset. I think that's the way to do it. It's a little bit stupid, but that's the best way to do it at this point when I have no items going into it, especially. All right, time to see what this planet is like. I want to destroy these, since I almost certainly have to pass through this again. Unless there's a portal somewhere near the start here. A lot of cannons. Which way to go? Ah. Wish I had special weapons. The limited direction of your guns can make it pretty hard to hit things sometimes. Man, what are you guys guarding? There's a bunch of you here. I actually got him. Man, there's so many cannons here. Ah. 
Okay. Maybe I should have gone right first. Probably just gonna take this back already. Though I am curious if there's just a portal back here. Uh, can't make it too much further though, just because of the ow, fuel. I gotta be careful when picking things up on this planet. It is so heavy. It's hard not to crash when you first pick something up. Best way to do it is to like get a bit of momentum going and then release your shield. I've done it before, it's a little tricky, but. did it again. <laughs> Not the first time I've done that, where I dropped it just a hair too soon. Ew. Oh, bananas. I thought those were like, <laughs> I thought those were fingernails. <laughs> That's pretty nasty. Oh! I like went past the point where I uh, would transition to the ship, but I think because I was dropping an item and it didn't actually go in it. That's funny. <laughs> I should still beat this game today. Again, assuming the final boss isn't anything too crazy. I do want I do kind of want to see chapter Urban mean Planet 13 as well. I don't think that'll take too long. It certainly won't take long to get to, thankfully. It's a really easy wormhole. Oh shoot. I should probably deal with this. Nice. All right, let's see if there's a wormhole over here anywhere, or whatever they're called. There's a fuel canister. Feels like a little high up for a fuel canister, but... I guess it'll make this place kind of easier. Although, if it's just a... If there's no wormhole here, then... In, okay, there is one. Three slime dragons in a row? Ugh. Funny thing is, I wouldn't even call the Slime Dragon necessarily the hardest boss I fought. That probably goes to Mike Tyson if we count him. Uh, It's just such a long fight. Okay, a gem. Assuming the last thing is fuel. We can also check out the portal here, too. This could be a good fuel to leave for when I go to the final spot, too. If it's close to this, a portal. Alright, I guess we're doing a good old... Uh, oh, that did not work at all. I just went in the portal. Whoa, down deep. Getting shot at. What is this thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, got rid of that thing. Goodness, what is... Where am I? I'm just like deep. I'll explore this later. This is like where I would expect a, the final portal to be. Oh my goodness, why would you start me next to a bad guy? Uh, area to the right, which actually looks quite large because it keeps going to the right up there. Ow, man. And that's it. Yikes. This looks like there's going to be a lot of... Uh, moving around, or like... It's going to be a while before I... Or a lot of places are going to require me to move a lot before I get to the... Or to get back to the ship, because there's just not a whole lot of portals. And they're, like, in nasty places. That one was deep, so that's not going to be one I can use that much. That one to the left is kind of far away. At that, For a lot of these, it's just going to be better to go up. Yeah, this is going to be an annoying one. They always only have three of the ship portals, I wonder. Why wouldn't Mike count? Because that's kind of like the game. The game is all just the the boxing matches. I don't know. Everything When everything is a boss, is anything a boss? <laughs> no, I'd still count it probably, but it's a little different. You could just call it a boss rush game, I guess. 
Like when the whole game is that same type of thing. What makes him a boss and not anyone else? Unless they all are. That shark was pretty annoying too, although that was more just because he was so dang hard to hit. And it was so tense. Yeah, but I don't know. Is is that usually categorized as a boss rush game? I'm not sure. It's like is pro was is pro wrestling a boss rush game too? I don't know. Is any wrestling game a boss rush game? Is the final sports team I faced off against an against NES play action football a boss? I don't know. Sports games. Bo Mike Tyson ult or Punch Out ultimately still sort of fits at least near sports games. It's not quite the same, but it just makes it complicated or like complicates things a little bit. So there's fuel back here. That's what I kind of predicted. It's a bit of a annoying trek to the portal, but man. Isolated Warrior, if I remember correctly, was slightly more either rare or just more expensive for some reason than a lot of the other third party NES games when I was retro game hunting. fuel I and ultimately I would consider it a boss a final the final boss of the game it's just I don't know a bit different I could see why someone would think otherwise I actually don't have that many NES games left. Still a small handful, but... Like, of the third-party ones, there wasn't much left. When I looked at all my NES games. Oh, that's right! You're right, that is a good idea. I've been so used to going back to the ship now, I forgot that that was a valid way to uh, recover life when you don't have any weapons. I mean, I, I wouldn't say boss really has a formal definition. It's kind of just like a concept we understand from playing games. Everyone could come up with different, like, even, like, what's a super boss? What's a, I don't know. It could vary from person to person. I wouldn't say it's quite that cut and dry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you keep asking about this game, Swad. We're not going to play it, eh? Nintendo didn't publish any <laughs> Grover Big Bird games. Dude, I, why can't I destroy this last one, man? It's like... A, do they recover life or something when they go off screen? It's really weird. No, I've definitely killed things off screen, though. So I, that doesn't make sense to me. We still get so We'll get, you know... We've gotten some licensed stuff here and there, but yeah, I don't think there's any Sesame Street. Something that was weird. Something's up. What? Oh, this is probably just another red. Yeah, there it is. I can always just tell when something weird is up with the gravity. I 
Is that the is that those N64 ones? Or are you talking about a different one? I don't know. I haven't seen that many Sesame Street games. This might be a bad idea. I can always again losing my ship actually isn't a big deal anymore, as long as I don't die. Wonder what power ups are going to be in the next shop. They don't always have the same power ups too. There might be new ones even. I'd still like to get as much money as I can on this level. On the next level, depending on how the final boss works, like I wonder if I even need money. Yeah, we had like Ham Taro. <laughs> There's a couple random ones here and there, but not many. Like, you know, we had all those Game & Watch ones, like the Popeye, Mickey Mouse, Snoopy stuff. Yeah, they're the N64 ones. Yeah, I remember watching the Beast's uh, summary of those. <laughs> You've noticed me... Oh, okay, hang on. I think I know what the problem is. Uh, how do I do this again? Ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. Okay, it should be better, thanks. Yeah, sometimes the really bad games can be funny to watch, <laughs> even if they aren't fun to play. But just because of how bad they are, you know? Oh, oh yeah, that was fuel. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. They were like two different games. <laughs> this might be like essentially the same thing. Oh, you can actually hear that? That's like pretty far in the distance for me. Should I try to filter it out? I might be able to filter that one out. The sun finally came out, so I guess they're doing a bunch of yard work. Is it pretty bad? Ooh. I think it might just be the lawnmower. I don't know. It could just, and they might, they're either going to get further away or closer. We'll see. <laughs> if they get closer, I'll try to filter it out. Pretty soon we're going to get into air conditioner territory. We'll have to turn on my filter again for that. Tender America like Bugs Bunny. I mean, Bugs Bunny, at least, you know, I don't know about when they were doing it, but, you know, it's a pretty popular, popular culture character, so. Imagine that had something to do with it. It's kind of funny seeing, like, I don't know, not all, uh,. Licensed stuff was always bad early on, and I guess it's still not always bad today, but I feel like there was definitely a time period. I'm thinking, like, GameCube Wii era, where third-party games were just really bad. Oh my goodness. I don't know, maybe it started in the N64, I'm not really sure. Like, it was just every animated movie, you know, had their really quick and easy uh, movie tie-in game. Why did that guy respawn? But, you know, like, DuckTales has been good, was good. Little Nemo was good. I don't know, maybe there were some bad ones during the NES, but... I guess if we look at E.T., <laughs> that has some problems. I guess those both were Capcom, too, so maybe they were the exception. I don't know. Maybe, I'm not sure about what licensed games were totally like during the NES era. I feel like the ones I've played haven't been terrible. 
My game just crashed. No, it didn't. The song's just bad. What the heck? Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I was pushing the button to continue and it wasn't going. Oh, that scared me. And the music was just like, eh, so I thought it crashed. Yeah, there will be a bunch of Disney games because the Disney Classic label. And the not even just the Disney Classic label, but there was also the, um, what you would call it, label. There was the uh, uh, Player's Choice label that Nintendo published, too, that had, mil it was just any game that sold a million dollars. And it was mostly just Nintendo stuff and Disney stuff <laughs> that sold a million. I think there might have been a Mega Man, or that might be a, there might have been a Mega Man game for the Game Boy or two in that batch. Capcom's were kind of more the exception. It's doing it. Oh no! Maybe it was just the part of the song I was at. I don't know. It scared me, but <laughs> I'm fine now. I think it might have been players. Some of them are they double up. Some of them were players' choice and ones that uh, Nintendo published anyway in like Europe and stuff like that. It definitely doubled up. So the other portal was somewhere around here, right? I guess it was down in the water down there. That's a nasty portal, honestly. It's not a fun one. Okay, more fuel again. Not a great place for it, though. They keep putting them near the... Like, that's so near the top. That's not a very useful fuel. Honestly. So there is a portal down here. I don't think I'm actually going to use it for very much, though. But let's see what's down here. Okay, we got hazardous waste. Or radioactive waste or radioactive somethings. Uh, okay, there is guys down here. I thought there would probably be a few more along the way. Man, if only I had special weapons. I just <clears throat> tapped that guy and he exploded. Yeah, I guess it does have a bit of a song, doesn't it? More than a lot of them do. Okay, another one down here. These aren't too bad because they're both near portals. If I have to do this level again. Or was this? Okay, ground. It's always easier when they're close to the ground. <laughs> it is like it is crazy how much he was composed and, and how much games where we're making i had no idea man that is that has been one of the big things i feel like i've kind of learned that i didn't know before was just how much rare did for the nes should be able to get this over Apparently this game kind of this game didn't actually sell that well despite reviewing pretty well. I could have gotten that fuel. But oh well. That was actually kind of scary. Because that guy. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. It's kind of interesting. I was looking at the, the at Jetpack, too. 
was just reading up on it a bit. That was before they were even called Rare. They had a different name. I already forgot what it was, though. <laughs> this is probably... I'm getting close to the territory of the other portal. I don't quite remember where it was, though. I should have looked at the map when I went over there. What the... Didn't I kill that guy? Oh, two at once. Come on. Okay, that's the last fuel. Uh, is that the portal there to the right? I'm not actually sure. No, it might be down to the right. I'll still try to take this there. Ooh. I think it's down there to the right. No, it's, it is right here. I was wrong. All right. I wonder how it's probably oh, up there and then down to the right, I'm guessing. Two things back here. Pod, okay. Might as well just use that while I'm here. The portal's just as easy to get to. It's too bad you can't, like, go to the portals from the base. I guess I kind of see why they did it, but it's too bad. More crystals. Uh, no, because I there's a fuel tank right by... Or there's like a fuel tank by the left warp, and I could just grab that, go in the warp, and I'll be fine. It's just as much distance. I guess either way, it doesn't matter that much. Alright, what is this? Potentially big money. Give me that. It does sound like it is getting a little louder, doesn't it? Uh, let's. I'll experiment real quick. Just give me a second. Let's see if the. Uh, if it's all a matter of how close of a free. Oh, I don't have my noise gate. That might be part of the problem. When did I turn that off? Does that help? Or does it just make it so you can hear it when I talk? But I don't know if that's that much better. Can you hear it when I talk, or is it still there when I talk? I guess I'll play for a bit, and you can tell me if you hear it too much still. I can still put up a filter, but all I needed to do was the gate for now. Oh, and it's getting even closer. I still hear it in the distance, though, so I'll keep it on. Tell me if it does cut off too much of my voice. Uh-oh. I'll be fine on my way to the ship, right? Ow. Yeah, it already sounds pretty distant, actually. I had a feeling a lawnmower was the type of sound a noise filter could filter out. Not everything can filter out well, but that's kind of a very consistent just humming noise. I think that really terrible sound was just it when it was it was just the sound of it being close. Huh? Soft drinks. It's a bunch of what is that? A bunch of soda. I 
fuel there. Pfft. Okay, well, now that's the fuel I'll get as I go to the final planet. Boom. Not the final planet, but the final wormhole. Yeah, it wasn't no eight. I can't remember. Was the jetpack was jetpack forward PCs or was it just a different console? I don't remember. It wasn't on the NES though. It was computers, yeah, that's what I thought. Whenever I see the name of old computers, I'm like, wait, is that some console I don't know about or is that a computer? I'm never actually sure. <laughs> Alright, so that we'll see how much is over here. I'll probably come back for that. I just want to potentially, yeah, I just feed enemies like this along the way before filling up. Goodness. And those die in one hit. So the super weapons. Hopefully I'll be able to buy some more. Hopefully my plan works well, too. These things are nasty. It's just, like, impossible not to take damage while you're fighting them. Uh, I think this is it here. But let's verify there's not anything else along the way that I need to deal with. Yep. Ow. There might be more enemies up to the right, but I'll just go this way. Co-Masters has been described as the rogue rare that saw the consoles. It's a big thing, but didn't want Nintendo slicing feeds restrictions. Huh. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I just want the juice. I mean, I guess I could bring it closer, but that's not worth the effort. Interesting. <laughs> is that part of the reason why that... Wait, was rare British? I actually can't remember exactly where rare is from now. I think they are, right? We here we go. Oh boy. Man, I wish I had my super weapons about now. It would have been very useful, and there's probably gonna be more of these too. I just realized though this place is gonna be a little easier because of how I can actually I don't sink as much, so it's a little easier. It's a little I can kind of I can't quite do the same thing as the uh, momentum killer, but it's easier to lose your mo or like slow majorly slow down your momentum. Oh man, this could be sketchy. Just get him fast. Okay. There had to be at least one more after all that distance. Which one did they make? I've maybe played it. I've played a handful of uh, Bionicle games. I was really into Bionicles as a kid. Had all the books and everything. A lot of the games weren't very good, though. <laughs> the only good one was their uh, point-and-click adventure game on uh, the web. One more, it looks like. You have found... Oh, no, is that the last one? Or maybe there's one more there in the bottom middle, because I think I have one more level left. The Bionicle of the game? I think that's the one that's not good. <laughs> I did have that one <laughs> on the GameCube. If that's the one I'm thinking of. Cyber Zone. Did I... No, wait, I did beat it last time. I don't remember what my strat was, though. I think it was something like this. Whew. 
Bionicle Heroes was okay, but that's because it was based on the Lego games, like the Lego Star Wars uh, concepts. Time to take off. <laughs> I think he had the bottom game because it was too violent. The Bionicle game was especially bad if you, like, knew the Bionicle lore because they did so many things wrong. <laughs> I'm talking a character that normally can't talk, completely speaks in the game. Uh, one character killing these super powerful characters like all at once. When they in the original game, in the original story, they had to trick those bad guys into destroying themselves. They couldn't even beat them on their own. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm gonna get this password and then I'm gonna re-enter it. So that I have the password with money, not when I've lost money. So I'm going to reset and enter in that whole password. Boop, beta, boop, beta, boop, beta, boop, beta. Yeah, it was just kind of a mess. And the gameplay itself wasn't that great either. I've heard that song too much now. <laughs> Actually, I can't remember if they couldn't talk or if he just chose not to. Yeah, so I have the shop now, and I have all my money. So every time I die, I have everything again. What do we actually got in this shop? So we do have momentum killers. And then we also have this one, which I think is going to be pretty good. I'll grab, like, one of these just in case, but I think these are probably going to be better. Oh, you only have up to nine of one weapon. Interesting. I guess I'll buy, like, one of these just in case I need it. Or a few of these. I said one, and then I kept buying them. I don't know if I need money for the last level or not. I don't think I do, because I seem to remember hearing it was kind of different. All right. Oh, look at that gravity! Holy moly, I should have bought the anti-gravity thing. Um... Let's start with the Momentum Killer, although based on the level, I might swap out. Oh my goodness. Actually, is the Momentum Killer that good when the big problem is going to be the negative gravity? Okay, it's not that bad. Oh, whoa. Interesting. I'm probably going to mostly just... Well, I might look for... Well, I don't know. Because if I'm using the Warship for the final boss... Does my, like, life and stuff carry over? I guess I've been kind of treating it that way. I'm just starting to second guess now. But I'd hate to get there and then realize that I've been majorly nerfed because I didn't get stuff when I could have. Ow. Oh my goodness, this stuff is heavy. It's just because this planet's gravity. Oh, I'm, I'm holding. Dude, this is like that one planet when I didn't have the jet boost. Oh, my goodness. See, this could be really annoying. Speakers. I still don't get that screen, though. Why is it showing all the other thing and how much they're worth? Hmm. 
More treasure. Still kind of wondering about. How much I, oh snap. How much I'm actually gonna need to do here. Like, is this money even worth getting? I'm not sure it is, cause I, so one thing is, ah, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna get much money, maybe gems, but I just realized that thing I was looking at didn't say there was any more shops in the game. Which, sure, maybe that's cheating a little bit that I know that, but I already know it. What can I say? Oh, no. Is that the anti-gravity stuff already, too? Or is it just water? Let's hope it's water. They have done both now. Uh, I guess we'll go to the right first, though. I haven't found any portals yet, either. Oh, there's just one item down there. Alright, time to see what it is like. Is this water? If it's water, that's actually nice. Oh, thank goodness, I think it's water, because water doesn't have the heavy gravity. See? Oh, it's pushing me up still. Maybe it slowly moves you up just because it's water? I don't know. Now, gems I maybe do want because gems are life. I guess it depends on whether or not my life's carry over to the final level. I did not mean to push that button. It's pretty easy to just straight up accidentally push up and down when you're quickly pushing left and right, back and forth. Does this part work? Okay. Once I get one more extra life, though... Oh, shoot. That momentum killer just saved me. I think and that it was just this planet's heavy gravity. Uh, Once I get an extra life, there's not going to be enough gems for another one. Why did my screed go out there for a second? I really need to get better at just using the mute on my computer. Apparently, the mute button for some reason on this might just get stuck every now and then, and I have to unplug it to fix it. I don't know if I like gems that much, but <laughs> I do like the extra lives. I don't know if you can hear that either. That sounds like an airplane. Might be a similar frequency to the lawnmower, though, so it might be cut off. This is, like, this is actually the last level, basically. This is level 12. So, I'm getting there. I haven't found a single portal yet, though. I wonder how big this level is. Okay, I'm not going to worry about those kind of things. Because that's just money. Here's another gem. I kind of want to look around and see where the first portals are, though, before I lug too much back to the ship at this point. See, there was one right here. It's not a great place for it, though, honestly. I mean, I guess it is kind of nice to have one near the ship. So maybe it's actually a good spot. What is up here? I do need fuel. I haven't seen any of it yet. It's the bit. Oh, look, fuel. It's the big thing I need on this level at this point. I saw another dude over there, but that's fine. Or another portal. Or a weird gravity thing, whatever you want to call them. Okay, this is going to be actually a really. Well, maybe I can just go above it. It's kind of high up. Dang it. Oh, that works. All right, where am I now? Uh, was this just to the right? I don't know, man. This looks large. It's 
It's probably still only going to be three portals, though. What the heck? Top right. Okay, I think I know where this is. This planet seems quite large. Let me back in. Come on. What the heck? I've been trolled. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a fourth one. Deep on... What the heck? Okay, I'm just going to peek my head over there. What is that? Also, is this deep in the water? Man, it looks like I've skipped the nasty section. I guess unless there's fuel along it. Because look at that. It's just water. Like, thin stuff everywhere. But I can just totally skip over it using a portal. That's kind of nice. I'm guessing the portal's down here. What the heck? Okay, I'm not going here yet. It's like a maze or something. I'm assuming that's where the ending is. I guess they're making it kind of wild for the final level. Now. Okay, so that is the last location now. Go ahead and grab this gem, I guess. Even though I'm still not sure if it'll be necessary. Guess we'll know. When I when I redo when I do level 13, I'm not gonna bother beating this level again. Level 13 takes you straight here. Still more crystals are needed. So this is like before I think the deeper water section or the actual water section, not that little fake one I had at the beginning. Maybe grab this one item. It is fuel, okay. I'm trying to remember where all the fuel is, because if I end up, like, dying deep in this level... Like, if the boss... My biggest fear is the boss is, like, part of this level. That would be nasty. I want to know where all the fuel is then. So I can potentially rush it if I don't need the money. Uh... <clears throat> I'm actually going to cut it kind of close here with the fuel. That's already... No, that's just two fuel, right? I think it's just two fuel. Uh, that's a bit of ways back. Wait, what was down here? Was it fuel? Was it a pod? I don't remember. I skipped it. Oh, no, that was just money. It's going to be close. You, this planet, you use a lot of fuel because of how much you have to hold down the... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I should have just died. That's what I should have done. Uh oh, this is kind of bad. Okay, good. Or, like, I should have just blew up. Oh, no, wait, no. I have gear. I forgot. Dang it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Let's try the... I'm going to do these. If I lose it, I lose it. We'll see how much the momentum killer actually matters on this planet. I'll feel the pain of not having it. There hasn't been that hard of enemies, though, actually, either, now that I think about it. So I don't know. Maybe the momentum killers are the better play. Maybe down in that computer area is where I'll need it. This one does use up a little more than the homing missiles. That is one thing that they're better at. I should maybe verify, actually, the way to the second portal. I think it's just over here, but... Uh-oh. That sounds like a weed eater now. They're really getting all the yard stuff done today. I keep forgetting I have these weapons now. Okay, that's the portal down there to the right. Let's see what's in some of these spots. 
Did I not blow it up there? Oh, I definitely did. Sections like this are harder. Oh, that's a gem. Ow. Sections like this are a lot harder without the momentum killer. Whew. How does this work here? Oh, I thought it wasn't going to be able to get it, but then it did. Oh, man. Man, I'm actually not so sure I like these more than the rockets. They do some things better, but they do some things worse, too. I'm going to try to do a bring it up thing. I pushed the wrong button. Come on. Maybe I do need to just get above it. Okay. Come on, just give me my last life, then I don't have to worry about crystals anymore. Oh, I keep forgetting I shouldn't do this, actually. I'm just, now I got my brain stuck on the last level. I don't know, man. That did feel a little nastier without the momentum killer, if I'm being honest. Not sure. Whoa, why is there something new been added to the song? Just laid into it. And it's gone. It's like pausing causes certain sounds not to play anymore. Unless pausing is just resetting it, it might be. I thought earlier it wasn't, because it didn't make that sound stop, but I don't know. Sound of this game confuses me sometimes, exactly how it works. So where's the two fields been again? Up to the left, and... I already forgot where the other one was. Was it down here somewhere? No, it was up to the far right, that's right. Okay, there's another one. All kind of near the portals, which is actually good. So that means if I have to do this level again, I just follow these exact things. It is where I'm supposed to go. Now. Oh, shoot. It's fine. <laughs> In fact, that's also the easier way to do it. All right, one more. I'm going to, like, guess it's that one there to the right. Because I kind of... With the one that I got here being one, I kind of doubt there's going to be any more back here, honestly. Oh, you're the one more close again. I hope the filter's working. Real close. This is a little deeper than I thought it was going to go. Almost just don't want to get these anymore. Just not sure they're worth it. Beep, 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 beep. Man, 
And it just costs a lot of fuel to move around on this planet. Maybe I should put the fuel thing on. I should probably stop wasting all my uh, power-ups and just actually go back home normally. Why can I not get in this one sometimes? It's kind of weird. I only need one more fuel thing left. And like I said, I, I have a feeling I know where it is. Ow, that was kind of a dumb amount of damage to lose. Although there could be an easier one as well. And if there is one, it would be nicer to know, I suppose. Uh oh, I'm actually not sure my fuel's gonna make it. Like I said, you just need so much to go so little in this stage. I don't have that many momentum killers too, so I don't I really don't want to waste these. Okay. I still got hit. At least the bad guy despawned. Ooh. I'd say that's one of the things about living in an apartment is you can't control when they do loud work like this, but I guess you always have to deal with neighbors lawn mowing no matter what. I guess unless you live somewhere where there wasn't grass to be mowed. So I'm going to just go ahead and check this. I have a feeling this is fuel. It may not actually be that bad because water is a little easier to maneuver in than the surface. I don't have to use my jet boosters as much. Oh, it's a mix of both, though. I forgot to push the speed button. There's something down here, it said. Oh, there's the fuel. Hmm, I'm curious to what's over here. Where's it? I swear if it's just a single gem, it's fuel. <laughs> okay, there's not a reason I'm ever gonna come back here. Or, or uh, there's, they're both. I hate that there's two things called fuel. It's pod fuel. Alright, so with this, I can go to the boss. I wonder if I should. I wonder if I'll regret it. Or if I should look for another diamond or two. Okay, water definitely brings things upwards. I don't know if it's as strong as the gravity, though. Maybe that level wasn't inverse. Maybe that was just water before, too. No, I remember. Well, I have the momentum killer on, so it's hard to say. I just wonder if that other level was just always water. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to go for it, even right now. Find something nasty waiting for me. I can change plans, but that's full fuel. So not much else left now. Do I just hope that there isn't like a nasty bunch of enemies here that are going to require me to have better weapons than this. There is a pod here. I have no idea where I need to go in this maze. Thoughts are I could go right since I expect it to be right, but then that makes me think if it's right, then they have you go left first. People who make mazes always want you to go the longest way possible. That doesn't seem like the way to get there. Uh-oh. Well, that makes me think I need to go that way. Although I can go around. Maybe I should kill this guy just in case I come back as the spaceman trying to get to that pod. 
Where I'm like so deep in this planet, I don't even know what this is. It's kind of nice though, because I don't think there's any gravity here. I'll take it. Oh, this is huge. That is a wall. See, it passes way through here. That looks promising. Weird, I saw one laser enemy so far and nothing else since. I was expecting a little more after I saw that first one. Uh, I could go right, I could go down. I saw a way down right. I'll keep going with my strategy of riding along the edge. We'll see if it works. What if, if there's no fuel refills either, see, it could be right here, it could be down right. I'm going to keep trying the edge. If there's no fuel refills all the way to the end, that could be kind of rough. Might, I, like, maybe would even put on a fuel saver if I lose this pod. Is it down here? Nope. That is a dead end. Thank goodness for the map. Imagine trying to do this without it. Oh, that'd be brutal. Hello, Sir Blue Knight. Welcome. I have been grinding out this space game for the past few days, but I am... Getting close. It's being done. There is one bonus level I want to do, but I should be close. Depends on how hard the final boss is. Because I have no idea. I don't even know what kind of boss. I'm like envisioning something kind of like, um, what's it called? That final boss of... It's probably nothing like it, but I'm, I'm envisioning a random boss sequence like the one at the end of, uh... What was that one where I was the guy in the, the jet? It was kind of like Cobra Triangle, but a shoot 'em up What was that game called? I'm hoping this is just fuel. Okay, good. Is this the end? It's kind of ominous. Ooh. Last golden ship part. Too bad I don't have a man. Oh, something's pushing me away. Good thing the, the momentum killer is actually pretty good for these guys. So were the homing missiles, too, but. They actually stop you from getting pushed back too much from them as well. Which is kind of nice. It is not down there. Of course, they've made this last section cut a long one. Uh oh, and got a skinny passageway here too. That's going to be a pain to bring the ship part through. Hopefully my momentum killer helps with that. Should 100 do the DS browser for its fan. Hey, I said yet the other day, what I'm probably gonna do is do just one video on uh all the applications at once. So that will include the browser. Although I don't know what I'll do on it. I don't even know if it works. Did YouTube even work on it? I could watch one of my own videos. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it is just a browser, you know, it's not like it's actually accessing a server, it's just accessing the server of each individual website. That is not the right spot. Did I ever find the portal? Okay, there it is. Is this the last piece? It's now complete! Destiny summons! What did you mean by that? Oh, gosh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How did I just lose that much life? Oh 
Random, shoot him up. Ooh. Is this the final boss, or is this like, am I going to the final boss? Oh gosh. I was not expecting this to be thrown right into this. Oh, there was no password. Notice that. I died. What? Wait, was that a password at the end? Do I have to do the whole level every time? Was that a password at the end? Was that my actual last password, though, or was that... Yeah, let's see what that said. I skipped it so fast, I gotta hunt it down real quick. What the heck? I didn't even see this before! Hello, Solar Jet, man. I never stayed on the top of the screen long enough. And it resets. Now without music. Uh, let me double check what it said there at the end. That was so fast. Dude, I died immediately. That was nasty. How, that was like such a tight squeeze, too. Oh, man. This makes me nervous. How hard this could get. Oh, I forgot my pod used to look like that. No, I don't have my shield. I just realized, too, because I'm moving up and down. Down was the shield activation button. That squeeze was so tight. Okay, it is a slightly different password, but I'm worried that that's just because I spent money. Let's see. Why is there just no music? Like, this might be a bad... If this makes me restart the level... Oh, man, I'm so nervous. I'm going to have even less money. Not that it matters that much, but... The other password would be better, the one I had before. Yeah, this is really similar. Oh, no, I'm worried. Oops. I got the wrong password. L L K. Like this could literally just be a difference in money. It's so similar to my last one. P T B. Oh shoot! That is what it looks like. Man. Oh, boy. I think I have to do this every time I die, and if I touch a wall, I get one shot. That's kind of crazy. Oh, my goodness. Well, in the future, I'll pick a better life. At least I know... Uh, now, At least I know where all the fuel is now. Or how much of these I could even skip, honestly. Like, I wonder if I can get by just with the fuel that's in the levels. Like, I wonder if I should just go... Like, let's see what happens if I kind of just try to go quickly through this level. Because I feel like I need to get good at going through it fast. I could also go on replacement pods at points, but uh, then I lose my stop or my momentum killer. That's a gem. That's not fuel. You're waiting for me to go play action. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, it was up here, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, there's one. I'm suddenly not remembering where one of them is. There was... Was there one in the water at the beginning? Or was that a gem? All of a sudden I feel like I'm one short. suddenly don't remember. Or was there one somewhere there in the middle? Oh, I can't remember now. I guess I'm gonna go back, check if the one in the water was it, because I can't remember. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about getting all the stuff on this level now. I just don't remember where that last fuel was. So why is it so hard to ran through these portals? Is it like a time limit thing? Like, was that thing... No, I never even got that treasure down there to the left. Where was the last fuel? I think it might have been this thing down here, but I might be wrong. It is just a gem. Where the heck? Where was the last fuel? I think it's somewhere near that portal to the right then. It's not that one. I know that, that there was one, but I'm pretty sure that one was a gem. The one in that like thin passageway that was really annoying. Was any of these two at the beginning? These were both. Uh. The two at the beginning were both, uh. Treasures. The one down here to the right is a treasure. The thing is, I didn't do much else in this level, so I'm trying, I'm trying to remember where the last one is. Thinking it's gotta be that down to the left. Did I do that? No, I did that one up to the right. I think it's that one up to the right. I think that's it. Kinda nice, I can just get these from this side. I think this is it. I'm starting to remember now. Now, I just like crashed into that floor. Yeah, there it is. All right, I wonder how easy it would be to do this all with one ship. There is that fuel refill far to the right, but other than that, might be a bit tricky to do in one go. Is there another fuel refill anywhere? They're actually, well, I don't know. Yeah, I gotta deal with these. Get out of here. Noxious things. I've tried it! Ugh, gosh, whatever. Now it's annoying because I gotta go back through the portal like a million times to get back to where I want to be. Brutal! They make you do the final level over again. Although it looks, and it, like my life didn't even matter. I was saving on all these lives for nothing.
So you speeding up? Get away from me. Oh shoot, I forgot about this part. I forgot there was these guys up here. I'm actually cutting this a little close all of a sudden. So that's the fuel, but I do want to get this. Uh, pod fuel up here. Now if I do as good as last time, I'll actually have quite a bit of fuel for the last section. Definitely faster than last time, but this is still a lot to go through just to get one attempt at the final boss. I don't even know if that is the boss or if that's just the final level. Man, I'm not sh like, ugh. If that gets nasty enough, I might use save states to practice. Dude, and the worst part is about that, Sir Blue Knight, that's, like, right close to my actual birth date. <laughs> I think it's the closest game to my birth date. So my my gift for entering this world was uh, a bunch of Battletoad games. <laughs> uh, kind of funny. All right, there's the last fuel. None of them are the original Battletoads, which I think is the hardest one, but that still doesn't... And the other ones are probably still hard, too. I don't know. That's probably one I'll use save states or maybe passcodes if they have them to practice. So they do have a capsule here. I don't want to use it, though, because... I lose my momentum killer if I do it. Oh, I can go down left, too. That actually might be better. I didn't see that before. There was a gun cannon that way, too. So if there's none down here, this is even better. Definitely. I think it's faster, too, because I don't I don't think I'm looping around as much. I only have to go to the left just a bit there. And actually, if I fall down, right, it's not much at all. Bonk. Just fire them on the GBA. My first Fire Emblem game was a Game Boy Advance one, but it was Sacred Stones. It was on the 3DS Ambassador. Program. There was a lot of games I first played on that. I think that was the first time I played Wrecking Crew. First time I played Metroid Fusion. Just have to make it far enough to get that fuel. I don't have to conserve resources too much here. As long as I don't just lose it on or lose all of it. That would actually really stink because there's no pods there at the end. I could uh go back and get the one pod, but uh then I still have to do all this again. And I lose my momentum killer. Thank goodness for the fuel refill, though. This would be this would have been, like I said before, so much harder without a map here. Man, that's such a long stretch, too. This really is a lot. And I still have to do this final section, man. Oh. Why would I feel like they definitely should have just given you a password for this? It is a lot to make you do again. A lot of kind of more tedious work, really, at this point. Now that I've solved or, like, know where everything is in the level, you know. It's more annoying than anything else. I 
Now to bring it back. Whoa, why is it being so much more difficult than usual? That was weird. Was I going too slow or something at first? Maybe it does have a mind of its own, man. So now it feels like it's just really is sagging down. Rather than flying around like it sometimes does. That's right, I can just go through it because I'm not going to teleport through it. Here we go again. Destiny summons me, I suppose. I'm assuming it's summoning me. I don't know if I have to kill these things or just dodge them, but... <sighs> really gotta be careful about... There's a big blob there that moved along the side. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. What is this stuff? There's so much of it. I got hit. At least, oh my goodness. I was going to say, at least that stuff doesn't insta kill you, but look how much life I just lost. Oh my goodness. I'm stressed. This camera, too, is being a bit weird. The fact that, like, not all of it's flying at me, I don't know, it makes me think I have to kill them. I'm not sure, though. <sighs> oh, shoot, is this looping? Am I back here again? Is this the hard part? No. Yes? No? I can't tell. No, it's not. Where is... What happened to all the blue things? Oh, gosh. Okay, it was just a survival thing. Oh, okay, this is the boss now. Dang, man. Oh, I'm actually killing them. Okay, I wasn't sure if they were all the same life or individual. Ow, one more hit and I'm dead. No! Man, I wish I could move just a little faster. Oh my goodness, what is this? I'm dead. No! There was one left! Why'd you have to trap me like that? Oh, that was evil! Oh. Man, I was stressed out. Whoa. Brutal. Man, I, th I can get this on my own. I don't need to practice. It's that- I'm- that one part is hard, though, with the- uh, it's tight squeeze. I wish that wasn't there. If I had more life for the ending, that would be nice, too. Oh, man. Do, 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 do. Kind of crazy. Nothing you get up to that point matters. Power-ups. Lives. 
Money. It's just a totally new section. Right, I'm just going to buy these now at this point. Whew. It's annoying that I have to do this level every time, but that's what it calls for. All right, I can basically skip this first part because in theory, I don't go through this again unless I blow up. But with multiple walls, it's actually not a big deal. Or not walls, but momentum killers. They look like walls in the little icon. Dude, back away from me. I'm going to play a little recklessly because it's not a huge deal if I lose one ship and then go back to the portal and see how that goes. Okay, I was about to say, if that thing still shoots from all the way up here, I'm going to be upset. I do want to kill some of these, though. New play control Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I didn't know they did even. I didn't know that was one of the ones they did a new play control for. I guess it kind of makes sense though. I've never played that one. That'll be a fresh one for me. Oh man. Yeah, I'm already losing a lot of life. Oops. Whatever, we'll just go through it again and then put it in here. Treasure Master? I haven't heard of that one. Man, bag, bag of magic food, you've really got a lot of knowledge of retro games, huh? Seems like there isn't one you don't know about. <laughs> is is that the one that's like super rare on the game? No way. Wasn't there a really rare Pokemon Bank or something on the GameCube? Really rare CD. That's like super crazy expensive to find one nowadays. It's some Pokemon add-on thing. A lot of those I'm going to count as applications, too, if all they do is store Pokemon and stuff. <sighs> yeah, it's starting to look like it's kind of hard to do this all with one pod. To be fair, I did mess up quite a bit this time, but... Probably not risk going to the right. I'll just grab a new one. New ship. That's probably the pattern I'm gonna have to follow. Maybe if I get good or if I like do good enough, I won't have to, but it was kind of what I suspected would happen after last time. And lo and behold, it did. Oh, I'm not talking about on my birthday. I'm talking about... So the Battletoad games are not on my birthday. I mean actually close to my birth year. Or like actual like point where I was born. I, uh, I don't think any of the Battletoad games are actually on my birthday. I don't know if there ever was one released on my birthday. I haven't looked.
I almost didn't need that fuel, honestly. Wonder what like the most common release months are if you look at all of gaming as a whole. I imagine around Christmas time is a pretty big one. Like November ish. Thank you, Momentum Killer. All right, there we go. Now I gotta still do this long last section. I wonder if I can do it without the map at some point. Well, no, the point where you turn up is kind of annoying. There's like f seven vertical things in a row that all look like it. Man, I was so close. That was so unfortunate. And it's because they, like like I said, they trapped me. They did this really nasty maneuver where I was, like, stuck. For some reason, this section just slightly reminds me of the final dungeon. And uh, even though they don't look alike, for some reason, the feel of it reminds me of the final dungeon in uh, Trio of the Galaxy. This, like, long, sprawling section. I'm just trying to rush through it and find the fastest way through. Lots of square edges. Though, to be fair, everything in that game was. Kind of crazy, really, that that one was fully published by Nintendo. Well, that version, I guess it's a port of a game, so maybe that's why. But it's just like no one, not many people know of its existence, even as far as Japanese exclusives go. I guess it seems like not many people knew about, like, Batgammon and all that either. Or a lot of those, like, one-offs. Like, I didn't know anything about Night Move. Not one-offs, but, like, you know, ones without a whole lot of characters to them and stuff. Board games and the like. I guess I couldn't have told you that Gamoku was one of the first games on the NES, too, or on the Famicom. Y'all are making me feel old, even though I'm not that old, <laughs> really. Because I, I remember getting that game when it came out. Actually, I don't know if it was when it came out, now that I think about it. I got games a lot later than... Like, we were like a gen behind often, at first. Because that was when everything was cheaper. When we were kids. I don't know if that was true by the N64, actually. I just remember we first got an S and NES because our cousin bought an N64. And didn't want his SNES anymore, for whatever reason. I guess he wants to play old 2D games when you got 3D. That, that's never been me. I've never gotten rid of consoles. I never even sold games. I keep everything. Only thing I gave away was a Game Boy Color to a friend when I got a GBA. His GBA could play everything the Game Boy Color could. And he was like, apparently his mom said he's <clears throat> not allowed to play video games unless someone gives it to him. Or not allowed to buy video games for himself. He has to get a gift from somebody. So I was like, sure, take my Game Boy Color. Kind of a weird rule, actually. Yeah. 
Maybe she was just hoping no one would give him one. <laughs> oh! Dude! I'm holding the buttons down. You remember getting the GameCube? I remember even getting the SNES. I think there was a game our mom got rid of, too, <laughs> that he gave us. Something a little more violent. I don't remember what it was, though. Donkey Kong Country was the big one. I played a lot, though. It wasn't my first video game, but it was my first video game console I played a lot. Actually, we had an NES for a bit, too, but that was when I was a baby, and then it broke. Apparently, we had Little Nemo, the Dream Master. And my brother remembers playing it a very little bit, but doesn't remember anything about it except for, like, the title screen. Getting the Wii was crazy because it was sold out everywhere. I remember our dad finally uh, told us that he was able to get it. And we were like, yeah, and then we... Was that... Did we also get Brawl at the same time? I don't remember. All right, hang on, I gotta focus. I just know when we got Brawl, we played that for, like, the whole day. All right, I don't have to kill these clouds. I almost shouldn't unless I really have to. Because they split into babies. Man, it's hard to make small adjustments. Not going too far. Oh, shoot. I should have hit him. Okay, I probably should shoot him, at least before that part. Looks like they can stick around for a while, so it's probably a good idea to still shoot. Dude! Oh, this is bad. I got hit so much already. That part was nasty, man. Okay, I need to shoot more, I guess. My strategy of trying not to shoot as much was not the play. Tried shooting there more and I failed. <sighs> Are these all ones from before following me the whole way through the level? I wonder. Because eventually they stopped appearing. Or maybe that just happens anyway. We might. Well, no, I don't know. Yeah, our cat, it was such a sad day. We played Brawl for a while, and then we found out our cat was killed by the neighbor's dogs. And it was a good cat, too. We had it for quite a while. Here we go again. I wish I was a little further to the left. Like, why does that have to be so close to him, huh? Wish you could shoot the blue things, too. Doesn't look like you can. Should probably shoot the lower down ones a little more. Oh, how did I live that? Like, I, I kind of want to keep one of the middle ones alive for when the screen starts going crazy. I scrolled the camera down. <sighs> okay, the bottom one's gone. That's good. Last one. Congratulations, Jetman! You have completed your mission! Time to put your feet up and relax in the comforts of the luxury of your warp ship. That was so sudden, man. I blew up that eye and no dramatic explosion or anything. Oh, I think that's the game. What are you doing, little robot? Who even are you? Whew. Yeah, in the case with our neighbor, it was her mistake, but... 
they did they they were like they took in rescue dogs that were um I can't remember what they were called, but they were big dogs, so Greyhounds, I think. So they were kind of the dogs were always a little rough. So they were a little more wild. <laughs> Your brawl just broke a year after it came out and couldn't get get the game here for two years? Wow. Alright! That is Solar Jet. Oh, wait, no, we're not done. <laughs> as much as I kind of want to be. Not as I want to be, I'm fine with this, but as much as I'd rather end on the finale like that, I actually do want to see the, um, I want to see the final level. The, the secret level. It's super easy to get to. I just got to remember what the password is for level. What level is it? Uh, I need to get to level 13. It's like seven or no, it's nine. It's nine. I need the password to level nine. I think no. Is it ten? What the heck level is? It? Oh, is it eight? It's eight. Okay. So I need to find my password to Planet Eight. Give me a second here. Should have gotten this ready ahead of time. But... Oh, where the heck? I could use a. I could look at a password online for level eight, but it's gonna like give me way more money and stuff than I should have. Way more lives, but maybe I don't care at this point now that I've beaten the game. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like hunting for this. All right, I'm just gonna look online. Do 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 do. But why does the password have to stop repeating? I wanted to use it for the opening, but it, or for my in, the intro of my stream, but I can't really do that when it doesn't loop. Uh, I'm just gonna use the password for this. I'll be like OP, but or not OP, but I'll have a lot of money and life. But that's fine. All right, level I forgot already, eight or seven. Oh, it, it does say negative gravity, I think. We'll see it again, I guess. What level is this? It's just a bob. What level is just a bob? Just a bob is eight. Okay. So I'm going to enter in the password for level eight. It's going to be, I'm going to be a little OP. It's not my password, but whatever. Close enough. Z Q. Apparently, someone was saying one of these values determines your life. So literally, all you can do is like change the. I think it's the might even be the first letter. If you change your letter to a Z, you'll have max life <laughs> on your password. Like you don't even need to like cheat and see the password. All you have to do is swipe it to an uh, swipe it to a Z, and you got max life. I think that's what it was. Dude, why can't I find Q? It's because this Q barely looks like a Q. Ba 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 da ba da ba. W R N B. In fact, it kind of looks like these last four digits might be the only ones that determine. No, there's a few other digits. See, so, yeah, I have tons of money. Unfortunately, I can't buy anything that. Oh no, I do have these here. Okay, let's buy these. And these. Probably won't need that much for this level, but. All right, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, it is negative 24 gravity. So this one, I think I just, where was this again? I think it's just, no, hang on. The password, or I mean the, the warp zone. I think he just said, yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh, it's, is this this level? No, I don't think so, actually. Oh, I don't even have the better ship, though. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, no, wait. Was this the previous tier? Was this level two? 
This might be the level 2 ship. And I'm too used to level 3. Yeah, this is the level 2 ship. Never mind, this was the ship I had at this level. So this is Planet 13. Round. So this is a bonus level. I, no, I did not start the second quest that gives me the real ending with this one. Thank goodness. So I only really need to beat this level. A little curious to what's on it, but... So this skips a lot of levels. This skips 9, 10, 11, and 12. I can guarantee you this is the level the speedrunners do. The only problem with this level is that you skip... Uh, you end up skipping... The Italian Space Pod upgrade. Which means... Uh... You completely can't use, like, the warps on level 12 to get to the bottom of the water section like I did. So... For a casual playthrough, what I did was probably the best still. Maybe I could have skipped some of those earlier levels, but... Because there was another warp somewhere early on that I missed. Nothing. All stuff I don't care about, because I'm just trying to beat the level. Did I see what was down here? I think I did. I think it was just a gem. I've ridden horses just a hand, small handful of times, and I had one horse that was a little energetic. And he did the whole, like... I don't know what they call it, when they start jumping around like crazy. I stayed on both times, though. One time he did it, because it was before we were... It was, like, with a group, and he just... He was ready to go, and no one else... I mean, everyone was just standing around, so he, uh... Started going crazy. Why does it look like there's some in the walls down there? Huh? Uh, and then the other time was because we were all walking in a single file line, and the horse in front of mine, for no reason, just decided to be... <laughs> extremely rude he turned around and he just bit my horse for no reason and then both of our horses started freaking out jumping around kicking everywhere the guys who horse whose horse bit me he flew off the horse which is actually dangerous because if they're jumping around kicking like that you don't want to be on the ground but i managed to stay on thankfully the guy was all right too thankfully he didn't get stepped on I just, there was dust everywhere, and I remember seeing his huddled up body on the ground as the dust <laughs> subsided. Uh, but it's been, I've had pretty fun experiences riding horses. Never anything super crazy. It was always in a very controlled environment. But pretty fun still. I have, the horses I've been on usually aren't that crazy. It was just that one. I used to remember his name pretty well, too, but I forgot it now. <sighs> we did, like, an overnight trip, I think is what it was. That time. It was the next day morning when he was all antsy. You guys probably heard that thump up there. That's not, that's not the guy working there. I'm pretty sure someone has moved in, and I'm pretty sure they have a dog. There is a lot of things. Why is there things in the wall? That's what I want to know. Do not care about Jim. So weird. Like, if there's a war pull there, I wonder if, like... Because there is an Italian space pod earlier in the game. I don't know if it's possible to get it or not. Like, if you majorly save on money before that early shop, can you get it? I mean, I think it was like 25,000 and I had 15,000 or something. I don't quite remember. Either way, this level's been actually kind of simple so far. For you, it was the choice between that and uh, physical therapy. I don't know if I could realistically 
Like, I, I live in the middle of the city, so... Being, we always had to go pretty far out to go to places where we could ride horses. Oh, there's a warp hole right here. Alright, this is an annoying spot for this, and I now go back to old strategies where I'm going to bring it down here. Yeah, horses would be... Th th that's a lot to take care of. I kind of get it. I don't know, I kind of like pets, but at the same time, they're, they are, they can be a lot of work, too. And I imagine something like a horse is even harder than a cat or dog, which is what I'm used to. And I feel like you even need the right, like, kind of place for it to live, you know? You can't just really throw it in your backyard or something, you know? I don't know, maybe you can, but... <laughs> is that third fuel already? That is. Bah, bah. Now I just gotta... The hard part is gonna be finding that portal, man. Because I've barely explored this planet, I feel like. Oh, I forgot I made a portal down there. Oh, well. This planet's been simple enough. There's so little bad guys here. It's been, like, strangely calm. Maybe it's my reward for finding the secret level. I feel like skipping four levels is enough, though. A bad guy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, another one. This level's crazy. Okay, that lawnmower is really loud again. Well, let's see what's out here first, actually. These, these, those cannon things are actually pretty easy to move past when you're, like, going off, or, like, when you're coming from off-screen, if you're just going fast enough. I kind of saw that in the last level. Only took me three tries for that final boss. Wasn't too bad. I still kind of wish there was a password before. It seemed a little cruel to make you do everything all over again, but... Guess it wouldn't be a rare game without me breaking a sweat, huh? A pod. We've had dogs and cats. Dogs are like, they're definitely more work than cats. Uh, but they're not, they're not too bad either. Probably compared to like a horse. Yeah, they cut, they definitely do their own thing. That's for sure. Maybe it depends on the type of dog you have too, actually. We never had like super high maintenance dogs, but some definitely can be. I had a uh, one, uh, I've dog sat for a family that had some bit tougher dogs to deal with. So I guess it kind of depends. Again, I guess I think of my neighbor with the rescue dogs. Those were probably a lot of work, too. Oh, I found the black hole. Okay. Or whatever. <laughs> the wormhole. What did they call it? Did they give it a name in the manual? I don't remember. Goats are your worst enemy. <laughs> I uh, that I don't, I've, I've never seen a goat, but they've always seemed kind of like mean little things. Actually, no, I think I have seen a goat. I've never really interacted with them too much, though. Yeah, that's the sad thing about pets. Pets they just don't live as long as humans, and they're just more prone probably to dying to uh, other causes too. One of the things you just learned growing up. Goats just hate everyone. <laughs> uh, for some reason, to me, that makes them kind of funny. I don't know if I... Uh, maybe I'd hate them more, though, if I uh, actually owned one, though.
Oh, I just need one more fuel here. Where is it? That is a gem. Most annoying thing about owning a dog for me was just ah, it's how much it barked, man. When people rang the door, our ours we had one that had such an annoying bark too. It's a little yapper, and then whenever you like tried to tell it to stop, it seemed like it was trying to stop, but it couldn't control itself, and it would just let out these ear-piercing yelps. It was the worst. <laughs> it was so I can't even describe it. It was terrible. <laughs> Okay, there's a fuel. I do need... I have no idea where a portal was, though. We'll have to find one. Is this one up here? Uh, check a couple spots. Portal? Nope. That's why they made a whole video game out of goat harassing people. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's a portal. <sighs> Take it down a little bit instead of trying to take the fuel up here. <laughs> Doesn't go in unless I'm carrying it, I guess. That guy is about to hit me. Actually, that's fine. I got enough of the the wall piece. Or the, I keep calling it the wall because it looks like a wall. The uh, momentum killer. All right, time to head to the end. I guess I'm curious about how like. Is my ship just going to be magically more built after this? Honestly, this level was kind of, I wouldn't say, not necessarily disappointing, but, like, there's not much to it. It's really calm. I don't know what the deal is with those power-ups in the wall, but... Eh, I went the wrong way. Is there a fuel down there? There might have been. Ow. Oh, I hear the lawnmower pretty close. Let me know if you guys can hear it. Oh, did I forget to turn my noise gate back on again? After... Uh... Hang on, sorry. I gotta take a call. Alright, sorry about that. Uh... I knew that was coming. I have a... A procedure planned. Or I knew it was coming up... Uh, that they would call me for, so I wanted to make sure I had that planned. All right, uh, oops, I didn't pause the timer. Oh, well. I'm gonna go ahead and start up again. It's Thursday morning, and they said I'll be back at, like, I'll probably be back around noon, but I am gonna be sedated when I first do the operation, so... <laughs> Thursday might be a late start, depending on how I'm feeling after it. It's not a very, it's only like a 20 minute operation. It's not a big, it's not like a, and I'm not being cut open or anything like that. Uh, but I'm just worried about if I'm going to be too, uh, out of it. We'll see. <laughs> so heads up. This Thursday might be a late start. Uh, shoot, I went too far. It's basically a, t a test. I don't mind sharing. I'm not that personal with my my health. I've had issues with acid reflux at night, and I know how to prevent them now, but I've had it for long enough that they suggested I just do a, a test where they s stick something down my throat and look to make sure. Well, that was a mistake. Shoot, this is actually kind of bad. I have a lot of life. Uh... Where they're just going to stick something down my throat and take a look at my esophagus to make sure it's not too damaged or something, because it... Ow. If it's damaged enough, it can eventually lead to cancer, but that's if I kept having problems. It basically, if it was damaged enough, but not super serious, it's probably not serious because I don't have any other complications. Uh, but if it was damaged enough, they'd want to, you know, check it on me every few years kind of thing. I'm not too worried about it because it was never super frequent. But, 
Still a good idea to get it looked at. So basically, I was having issues because I was uh, eating too many snacks uh, before going to bed. I kind of realized that on my own that that was what was causing it. Particular types of snacks, too. I've just stopped doing it altogether, though. It's not good for me to eat that late anyway. So I haven't had problems in a good while now. But, just in case I wanted to have it looked at. It's kind of crazy. The consultation, they had a schedule like over a month in advance, but the actual procedure, they're like, yeah, we can do it this week. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright, let's not blow up before going in the portal. There we go. Okay, these guys aren't that hard. They blow up pretty fast. Ah, stay away. All right, almost done. And then we'll truly be done with this game. Oh. I didn't really mean to put these on. It's so easy to accidentally do it. Like I said, it's up and down to put on and remove the shield, so it's pretty easy to just push one of those by mistake while you're trying to get out of the situation and quickly mashing left and right a bunch. Yeah, it just get, it treats it as if I got all the other parts, which is really funny. Like, what are the implications of that? If going through the wormhole... Means all of a sudden I have more ship parts, huh? Is the background always this different? Has it just been different every time? I wonder. Yes, I know I'm missing a ship part because this doesn't take me to the ending. This takes me to level 12 again. Oh, wait, I'm not actually done with the level yet. Oh. Bam, ba -dam, bam, ba -dam, bam, 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 Uh, that's bit so yeah now we're at level 12 i'm not gonna do this again i'm definitely <laughs> do not care to beat this one for the millionth time especially not without the portal warping all right that is solar jet man hunt for the golden warship complete almost right on nine hours